Well, I have to say, June has been a very interesting month. You may have seen that I started the month by letting you all know how to properly pronounce Terraria. Okay, no more confusion going forward. Red went on holiday and made me temporary CEO of Realogic once again. During this time, I was able to strike up a crossover with Power World. Uh, this is about as far as it went. And following that, this week, Realogic thought it was a great time to finally release that beta play that we did last year and I really loved seeing the reactions to that one. So today we do have a brand new state of the game with some new spoilers but I've also just got a whole bunch more to talk about. So as always let's jump into it. Starting off then with the state of the game the first big announcement this month is that Terraria has now surpassed 58 million copies sold which does mean that Terraria is now the eighth highest selling game of all time. Moving on then, Relogic Row. In case you missed it, the Relogic team recently had the distinct pleasure to work alongside a massive Terraria fan, Frank, as we crafted his very own Terraria vanity set. Frank is a 17 year old teenager from Rockaway, New Jersey, who is battling a critical illness. Frank declared to Make-A-Wish New Jersey that his one true wish was to have his own vanity set in Terraria. And we're beyond thrilled to make that a reality. So to continue with what they wrote earlier this month, we've been working closely with Frank to bring this vanity set to life from initial concepts to various iterations to adding flavor text and more. With all that being said, we're pleased to be able to reveal Frank's vanity set, which will be coming everyone's way with the Terraria 1.4.5 update. And here it is, from concept to full implementation in Terraria, this is Frank's design. I'm not too sure, but I do believe in game it's likely going to be called the Heroics Armor Set, which is very cool. They did go on to say, We've also included a brand new shader inspired by the film noir style of Frank's design. We haven't fully sorted out how this will be toggled just yet, but we will in time. And here's a look at that filter in action. Now, it must be said, Frank is a bit of a legend because not only is his armor set really cool, I really, really like this filter. I'm so glad they're adding this. Now, Frank did leave a message that I wanted to include. I was able to graduate high school with all of this going on, so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Obviously though, Frank has clearly gone through a hell of a time, but I do love that through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Frank and Realogic have been able to collaborate on something which I legitimately think is really cool. All right, so moving on in the console section, they spoke about changes to gamepad and like controls in general. I'm not gonna dive into that in this video, but if you do wanna read more, I'll leave a link to it down below. That being said though, there is two new spoilers in this screenshot. If you look closely at the armor stands, you'll see that there's two new sets. Now, as for the set on the left, well, it looks like a variation of the mining set, so potentially an upgrade in hard mode. And you can see a brand new Chlorophyte helmet. And based on the ones that we already have, it's quite likely, if this isn't a vanity set, that it will be a summoner's helmet. Which is pretty cool, because when you go up against Plantera, like other classes, you'll be able to choose between Hallowed or Chlorophyte. I do wonder where it sits in progression, like, how how close will it be to Hallowed and how close will it be to Tiki Armor? Okay, so real quick, 49.1% of people that watched last month's news video weren't actually subscribed. Well, like 50-50 now, which is really impressive, but I want to make that number as small as possible. So if you are interested in Terraria news, don't rely on the algorithm, get subscribed and that way it will make its way to your homepage. In the mobile section, they showed off two new types of bombs. So this first one is a freeze bomb, which can turn water into ice blocks. Now I haven't had the chance to play Skyblock in Terraria before, but we do know that we are getting a Skyblock secret seed. But when I first saw this, it made me think, oh, in Skyblock, if you can dupe water, well, you can then make ice blocks and then you've got infinite blocks. As for the second bomb, well, the blast radius seems a little bigger than a regular 
bomb and you can see that it's destroying hard mode ores, which you can't do with regular bombs, so this will be really handy in hard mode. Moving on from the state of the game then, these are some extra things I found. Someone wrote to Red and said, Journey mode characters being able to cancel debuffs, please. And Red responded, hmm, yeah. Someone wrote, Red, I'm begging you, please make the Queen Bee lava placeable with the rubble maker. The trolling opportunities are immense. Red responded, hmm. On r slash Terraria, somebody posted a Terraria seed where the spider biome infects the whole of hell. Someone wrote, please don't give Red any more ideas about seeds infested with animals with an exoskeleton. And Red responded, I've got some news for you. Someone wrote to Red and said, I just found out the Trident increases movement speed underwater. No hard mode upgrade for it, Poseidon's Trident or something? And Red responded, it's a shame we already have so many hard mode spears that are boring. Hopefully by now you've had the chance to see the beta footage that was released the other day. Now that video was jam packed with spoilers, so just in case you haven't watched it or you weren't watching that closely, I'm going to point out everything that was new in that video. If there's anything I don't bring up, it's because the community already knew about it. Starting off then, we do get to see the rainbow boulder in action and you can see that it bounces across the screen not hurting players but specifically bouncing between chests and oars. In the original video, you can also hear a little sound effect every time the boulder touches something valuable. There's also boulder rain, which you get to see in action. It's pretty deadly. And Red gives us a look at the design of a special kind of boulder. I was able to include a small snippet of the brand new King Slime track, which I'll play for you now. At this point in the video, when I open my inventory, you can see a brand new accessory. Obviously, without direct permission from Relogic, I can't tell you exactly what this item is, but it does make me laugh because this is one of those things where I genuinely can't remember what it is anyway. So even I'm now looking at it wondering what it is. Summoners are getting even more love because there's a brand new whip called the Star Crash. While Jim's working on the Terraria quiz, Ghostar is firing out the killing deck weapon from the game Dead Cells. Which is funny because in the last state of the game, people figured out that this would likely be a weapon in the update. While I'm going by on a minecart, you can see the barnacles from Dead Cells being suspended in the air by these balloons. Now this one is especially funny to me because I didn't notice it at the time while I was playing and I didn't even notice it while I was editing the video together. Like the comments are what pointed this out to me. Once again, I have a brand new accessory in my vanity slot. And once we're done with Skeletron Prime, you can see that everyone's damage is posted in the chat. And finally, Terrari.shop has a brand new design and I am so sorry about this one. This is the Terrier E shirt. And yeah, it comes in two different flavors, UK, USA. Obviously, this will be the one that I'm picking up. I've actually already ordered mine. Now, as always, if you do want to save some money and buy some official Terraria merch, well, code Chippy will save you. 15%, that's right. As always, this is an affiliate code, so by using it, you directly support the channel, and by buying official Terraria merch, you directly support Relogic. All right, so that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.